What up, my tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash newmot for all your magic card needs. We got one last of these remix artifact drafts before I have hopefully a bunch of content uh, recorded of Thunder Junction from the early access event that will be tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get a bunch of those recorded as um, it's a, I think it's like a 12 hour event tomorrow. But yeah, in any case, Remix draft now. Thunder Junction starts tomorrow. We open the Mech Titan Core. Uh, it makes a 10-10 flying. Should we just try this? I need four other artifact creatures. Let's try it. It's going to be fun. It might not be good slash correct, but 10-10 uh, flying visions, trample, lifelink, haste. <laughs> if nothing else, is extremely fun. So, sadly, Artifact Creatures does put a damper on it, right? I can't just take, like, random Spyglass Sirens and Icker Wellsprings and whatnot and have it trigger, or rather be able to trigger it that way. I need to actually take, like, Artifact Creatures. So, do I, like, force the Vault Scourge here? This is basically colorless. I'm sure Siren and Cast Down are technically better, but... I think we're going to move all in for the fun play, and I'm going to take this damn Mech Titan core. Oh, yeah, you know what? Cogworkers Puzzle Lot is also really, really good for the Titan, isn't it? Let's do it. Should I be third picking this card? Absolutely not, but we're going for, excuse me, fun. Grapple here is good. Sweet Tooth is great. Um, right now, we're only playing white, technically. Both Sweet Tooth and Grapple are so good. But the thing is, if I go green-white, that is more the non-artifact deck. It's like the 1-1 counter deck. I guess Deadeye Plunders is probably pretty large in this format. Eh, Grapple or Sweet Tooth. I think I'm going to take the Grapple. There's a Thraben Inspector, Bone Splitter... Or whip. This doesn't make an artifact creature, sadly. I could also still try to go red-white, but then in that case, shouldn't I just take Thraben Inspector instead? Probably. Nice. All right. Those are pretty good. Actually, Ingenious Smith is fantastic, right? Two mana, one one. Look at the top four. You can reveal an artifact and put it in your hand, and then whenever one or more artifacts enter the battlefield, then you control. Put a one one counter on it. Ability only triggers only once each turn. So even though like the cloud guard and the artisan can make artifacts, the smith is just a better card. It also digs for the titan. Ooh, I actually kind of want to take the courier here now too. It's an artifact creature that once again digs. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe some white-blue artifact? That's a vehicle, but I don't think Brute Suit's any good. Archaeo Mender has been pretty solid from my experience. Yeah, maybe white-blue artifacts. That seems nice. There's an ongoing investigation there. Oh, okay. Weaponcraft Enthusiast makes two uh, servos. That would be very good towards the Mech Titan if we end up doing that. Eight Wave Sifter. Terrarians, okay. Yeah, this looks fun. Uh, the land might be better for us, but we'll see. And let's go to pack two. Thought Monitor! Yeah, <laughs> what a pickup. Affinity for Artifacts, 7 mana, 2-2 two, two flying, draw 2. We're losing out on an Ornithopter, Mir, another Thraben, Crewmate's great. Thought Monitor is just way too good, right? Really, really good with our KO Mender, too. Super easy to trade this off or just have it die any number of other ways. This one has been really fun for me. I haven't done that many drafts, and I don't think my record's been like particularly good, but seems like a, a fun, high power draft format, but not like overly busted. It's not like Cube, you know? It does just kind of feel like another modern Masters or Horizons format. Especially since a lot of the cards in this format are from Modern Horizons. Hmm. 
<sighs> Tamio's journal, uh, journal. Nope. Thank you, Wordler Rogue. Another excellent pickup. Makes two thopters. Very, very good. Journal's strong. It's just really slow, right? This was really fun to do in the uh, um, Avison's Judgment. Wait, no, not Avison's Judgment. What was that co format called? The Eldrazi format. Why can't I remember the name now? You know what I'm talking about, though. <laughs> the one on Innistrad. Shadows over Innistrad? That sounds right. Anyways. Take the Rogue, pass the Artisan. Some other okay playables. Exile it and four other artifact creatures and or vehicles. Oaken Siren seems really good here. Disenchant is super strong as well. Mm. Probably supposed to take the Oak or the, the Disenchant. Yeah, all right. I'll just take the good removal. Good, good, good. Hover wings, iron apprentice. Uh, neither of those are particularly great. Is this my only equipment so far? I guess I'll try it out, but that doesn't seem amazing. Uh, another War Whip. Good pack, though. Ornithopter, Enforcer, Alloy Mirror. How many artifacts am I at right now? Seven artifacts. And then... Two of the other cards make artifacts. The Mirror Enforcer is kind of tempting. Let's do it. I'm going to take the Mirror Enforcer, and we're going to start looking for the artifact lands to pick up, too. Although Chromatic Star probably makes more sense here. Servo Schematic. This needs something to die, though, right? Or this needs itself to die. So, yeah, let's take another Mirror Enforcer. The artifact lands now, even if they're off-color, but this one is not, uh, are going to be big pickups. Because we already have three affinity cards. So, like, we'll certainly be running the Thorn Glint Bridge in the current version of our deck. Now, this is nice. Blue-white affinity, kind of. Okay, that's fine. I wonder how many off-color artifact lands I end up running. Oh, wait, does Smith care about cast or enter? Enter, too. Yeah, no, they're good for Smith as well. We actually have a... Easy black splash starting to assemble itself. Right? We have two black lands that also add one of our main colors, and then we have like a candy grapple or a touch we could throw in if we want. Plus Terrarian and Star. So that's kind of nice. The bridge. Lodestone Golem. I think that's probably worth it in our deck. We do not have too many cards that get hurt by that. World of Rogue, the biggest offender at four mana already, but everything else is kind of smaller. I'm totally down for it. Oh, the Panharmonicon. Ah, oh, so fun. If an artifact or creature entering the battlefield causes a triggered... So how many? Thought Monitor, Whirler Rogue... It actually works with Four Mirrodin, Courier, Mender, Smith, Puzzle Knot, Thraben. I'm going to take it. What the hell? We got to have a little bit of fun. Um, another Vault Scourge here, maybe? Versus Citizen's Arrest. I guess the removal spell is probably a little bit better. Well, Spring. Now let's take another Puzzle Knot here. Again, we just don't have the ways to like sacrifice. We're not building that deck. Yeah, oh, and again, Puzzle Knots are... Wow. 
because of the affinity cards I've taken, the puzzle knots are just great. Two artifacts immediately and then a third. Oh, I guess you sacrifice it to make a second, so I guess that's neutral. Crab. I thought that was another thought monitor for a second. Uh, you can search for a mirror card when this dies. So I could search for a mirror enforcer. It's kind of cool. I suppose I probably should just take the prowler though. Okay, companion's fine. Artisan's actually decent. All right, and that'll probably be our deck. Double check our Panharmonicon. Oh yeah, look at the Panharmonicon. Really decent number of uh, ways to trigger it. Or rather to get value from it. Another Artisan too. The Artisan replace something? Want Urza? Urza might be okay as well. I guess the hover wings is not worth it. I can probably cut the crab. Or the terrarian. I guess the terrarian doesn't do anything. Yeah, this looks cool. Do I run all five of these artifact lands? It's a little bit much, but I think it's probably fine. Six, seven, eight, nine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. All right, sweet. A little bit of a meme deck with the Panharmonicon, but uh, overall, I think this is a decent blue white kind of affinity ish deck. Really, I just want to activate the damn uh, vehicle and make a 10 10. Hands okay. Let's see. Probably just going to lead off with the bridge turn one, and then I can go Scourge plus Crab turn two. Hello. Welcome to Sweetie Toothy. Good, we found the land. Let's get the Urza online. Three basics. What are they doing over there? All right, let's see. Draw, then discard. Whenever you discard one more artifacts, make up tapped power stone. Yeah, we'll discard the bridge. Smith can grab another artifact land if we hit one, too. Nice. Now it's going to pump up this smith as well. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. Like, we can Archaeo Mender back the bridge, right? Just to return an artifact card? Yeah, nice. I'll go ahead and take six, no big deal. The Cloud Guard, that's a good one. It's going to be a zero mana Mirror Enforcer. Um...
still loot here if we want to as well off the power stone. The opponent has a bunch of cards in hand, but I'd say we're doing all right here. Okay, so they can sack their food, buff up some creatures. I think I'm okay blocking like this. Sure, it's fine. Go back up to nine. Um, don't need the artisan. That's a great draw. Cog, pump up our smith. Keep beating. Probably gonna chump with the crab this turn. So notably, I can use my two artifact lands to activate the World of Rogue 2. We haven't had an opportunity to do that yet, but... Jump and take three, I think, is fine. They are just dead on board, right? Yeah. Oh, they're at 13 now. They're not dead on board anymore. Hmm. Oh, they are dead now. Right? They're just dead? This is going to pop our smith up to a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, I should have activated the, uh, whoops. Actually, it doesn't make sense to tap that. I can make a 1-1 one, one here, right, and then tap the 1-1. One, one. That should be exactly 10. 1, unblockable, unblockable, yeah, it's lethal. Bingo, bango, bongo, baby. Nice. Yeah, our deck's super cool. <laughs> Love it. All right, good. On the board already, 1-0. If nothing else, I cannot 0-3. Oh Game two. Hmm. A little bit slow, but I guess we can probably keep this hand. Be a nice draw, a nice hand to draw some affinity cards. Aha! Pseudo ish mirror match, it would appear. Uh, I guess I'll just companion for now. They can't get the smith up to a 3-3, so not this turn. Played untapped land, all right.
we draw an untapped land, we can Whirler Rogue. If we don't... Yeah, I guess we'll just get the Urz out. Okay, another Bolt Scourge makes their Smith a 3-3. Three, three. Looks like they don't have any tricks, they didn't want to put the Smith in range. So they're probably holding that artifact land for... Um, for... Um, their Smith, right? I'm gonna pay the life here. Try to get a counter on our Scourge. If not, that's fine too. It's fine. Could even just disenchant it if we want to. Oh. I don't particularly care if they eat that. Um. I'm going to let them attack here. Because the way I see it, now what I can do is double block like this, and they only get to trade with one of my creatures. That saves our citizens arrest for something more relevant later down the line. So we can attack. And then go rogue plus hold up disenchant. Obviously the rogue kind of nice here as the two thopters just brick off their scourge. If they use citizen arrest on my scourge, they must have more removal. Like sure, ping off one of the thopters. Don't really care about that. Wow. They are using all the removal on my 1-1 one, one flyers. Um, I guess I'm actually okay doing this then and just trading off. We give them one more life, but we also gain one life in return, so it seems fine. Nice draw. Oh yeah, good stuff. Let's go Chrome Courier and see if we can spin again. Oh yeah, baby. That is super good. Uh, I could make my Whirler Rogue unblockable, I guess. Nice. It's a great turn. Now we're just gonna bury them. That makes my monitor cost one more, but I think that's a worthwhile trade. Oh, there's the Panharmonicon. <laughs> uh, so we go Crab, Forcer. That unblockable. Oh, I guess I should have attacked him for two with the Whirler Rogue, too. I could have used the Monitor and the Enforcer. I missed two damage. Sure. And it pumps up our smith.
Or the Rogue has been MVP. Oh. Well, they kind of need to get rid of the Rogue now. Yeah. Getting rid of the Smith doesn't deal with the issue. <clears throat> oh, okay. I guess they disagree. So that's two clues. <laughs> yeah, baby. Whirling every single day feels good. Two, zero. Dun, 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 dun. We've got the Mech Titan. We have got the Titan, my friends. This is a really good affinity hand, too. Oh, they have the Mech Titan! Actually, this is a turn three Mirror Enforcer. Oh wait, can I not math? Maybe it's not a turn three. I can't math. For one off. But we are going to very quickly mech titan at this rate. And when that dies. Oh no, that's when it ETBs. Oh, maybe I should have played the Mere Kinsmith. I'm gonna chain off. Okay, this seems cool. I mean, it's four other artifact creatures we do have that next turn sadly the majority of them are going to be tokens that don't come back so we're going to lose value there oh my god they're going to go off with kinsmiths <laughs> kinsmiths and mech titan core is actually nuts How can I not go for this, though? It's just too silly. Well, bam! <laughs> uh, all right, we live the dream. I have no doubt we're going to get wrecked in some way here, but we lived the dream, so that's all that matters. Ugh, that's good. Womp womp. All right. Not the end of the road. Or end of the world, I should say. Wait, this gets exiled? Oh, you exile the Titan and you make a token. I see. Gotcha. Jeez. All right. Uh, I guess we're just going to get back our Enforcer. Oh, I can't play it yet, can I? One artifact short. The question is, how many kinsmiths are there running? No more, it looks like. Uh, 
Okay, what is the wording on this? <laughs> Leaves the battlefield, so they would get all of those things back. Oh my gosh. That's funny. That's too funny. But I have to do this now. Right? Actually, what I could do is I could citizens arrest their palladium mirror. Hmm. Eh, I guess I should just attack first and see what they do. Oh, I did not mean to attack with my crab. Whoopsies. Oh, they're just not even blocking. Okay. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so... There's no chance to get them here because exile is part of the cost. So if I let them untap and they spend five to activate the ability, I cannot disenchant it in response. I made that mistake with that... Oh. With that other card in the format uh, in LCI, the throne. All right, they have enough here. Sheesh. Realistically, though, how many more mirror tokens are they gonna or mirror creatures are they gonna have in their deck for the mirror smith? You know, or kinsmith. So we're going to swap life totals, basically. They're going to go back up to 17. I'm going to go to 15. <laughs> uh, too funny, too funny. They have more! What on earth? I mean, it was only one more, but still, that's incredible. How many kinsmiths was that? Four? And they were lucky enough to not have drawn multiple? Jeez. That's kind of gross. We need to find our Whirler Rogue. That's what we need to do. Whirler Rogue, easy win. Whirlin, 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 whirlin. Where are those whirlin, whirlin? Mm, so they want extra mana because they could have hard cast that. Uh, okay. Do they have like a metallic rebuke in their deck? I'm gonna hard cast this. And then pass. Oh, reality heist. Alright, so they can... Oh, well, they only found one creature. All right, that was good for us. Yeah, I think we're winning here. Sure. 
All right, both players living off the top then. I mean, if they find a removal spell for my Enforcer, then we're going to have a slight problem because that's the only thing really holding them back, but sure, I'll bite. That was a good draw for them. Nice. Definitely a good draw. Or better than... Better than average. Can we draw our... Dot Monitor into... Yes, there it is. Into Whirler Rogue. Oh, not lucky. Okay. Two two flyer go the distance. Be a lot better to make a servo here, I think, when they have a couple kinsmith. Cog work wrestler, sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have like a metallic rebuke in their hand. That was good. How many cards are left in their deck? Nah, they still have 12. Spell bomb, that doesn't really matter. It just cycles. They can bounce the mere enforcer for a turn, I guess, and no, that doesn't really work either. I think it makes more sense to bounce the enforcer, because at least they might be able to attack with Scrounger if they had bounced the 4 4 and not the 5 3. Okay. Three more turns. Two more turns. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What a crazy game. Oh, return target artifact you control to its owner's hand. Oh no. Oh, okay. Phew. Because they can bounce the, um, they can bounce the Cogwork Wrestler. But now they're not going to have enough mana to bounce it enough times. Actually, I guess it is correct. Nine, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's correct to. Oh, I messed up. I meant to attack with one more servo. Attacking with one more servo would have uh, made it so they needed to cog work five times. I mean, I don't think they can do enough here, right? 
It's three mana every cycle. Oh, maybe they can! The Palladium and the Alloy Mirror. I messed up. I needed to attack with one more. Shoot. Because now they only have to do it four times, right? This is twice. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Oh, maybe not. No, and they don't have... Yeah, okay. <laughs> they were very close. <laughs> I definitely need to do attack with that last uh, servo, though. But they... Yeah. Just take a little bit too much. Okay. I mean, it was too blue every cycle as well, so... Crazy, crazy game. Wow. Drafna with Cogwork Wrestler when they have that much mana is kind of funny. A Whirler Rogue doing Whirler Rogue thingies. All right, 3-0. and oh, Let's go. This is probably a keep. I can already cast Chrome Prowler. We're one off of Whirler Rogue, which should unlock Enforcer. And then any white source gives us Disenchant. It's a fine keep. Gixian Infiltrate. Alright, so this is probably going to be a more non-artifact style deck from our opponent. They're going to have artifacts, of course. Um, yeah, but... That's fine. So they can hit me for three this turn. Need to respond to that. Discarding a land is fine. Housing device. Is there a third artifact? So I'm, I'm supposed to let them attack here, and then after they attack, trade with Prowler, and then we can disenchant their... Um, Tracker. Yeah, I guess let's stop then from flipping. They're not going to be able to give the creature haste because it triggers off of the artifact, right? Oh no, the other way. Oh no, yeah, I'm right. Because the artifact enters, um, and there's nothing to target. And then the other creature's made. I don't mind paying two life to get out the uh, Scourge this turn. Trader. Sure, and they're gonna sack the equipment. Interesting. Huh. Urza is probably pretty good here as well. I'm gonna keep the land in hand to discard to Urza. That's fine. They sack their Blood Fountain, make the Infiltrator a 4-4, but we can just Archaeo Mender it back. Alright, 
Urza's got Vigilance, so it's a free roll attack. Now we can go Mender, play out the bridge. But I guess I could have just discarded the bridge and made a Power Stone. It would have been the same thing, and I would have still had an extra card. Uh, I think I did that in the suboptimal way, but whatever. They still don't have another artifact creature for their tracker. This is perfect for us to trade right now before they get something else to put it on. <laughs> I think they just now realize. Oh wait, no, where the rogue's gone, so yeah, we can discard the artifact. Here I actually think we want to make the 3-3. Three, three. Since they have a 2-1 and a 2-2. Two, two. So I just take it. Okay. I guess that was actually a greedy attack. I should have left back at least one blocker. Only having one blocker was actually really risky, wasn't it? Because if they draw a removal spell that also makes an artifact, I don't know of one, but I'm sure there is. Right? Kill something, make an artifact would be really close to killing me. This was way too aggro. Wow. That was... Honestly, really scary. Phew! Alright. Got a little bit sloppy there, but uh, was able to pull it out. Again, cast World of the Rogue, win the game, correlation, and in this case is probably causation. Let's keep it going. Outfit change. But that's okay. Keep this no artifact hand. Turn one, mousy. Hmm. Are they going to be Boros aggro? Nope, they're going to be Selesnia plus one plus one counters most likely. Good news is, generally they don't have that many artifacts to go with. But what do I know? Three one drops on turn two, huh? Well, I think I'm gonna hold up Disenchant here instead of playing the tap land. I think I'm gonna take a hit from the Scourge. Let's see what they do here. All right, I'm not going to bother killing that. I'm going to go with Urza instead of the Glint Sleeve, although the Glint Sleeve is slightly safer. They're not putting me under too much pressure. Like, even if they get rid of the Urza here, I'm only going to be taking, what, three? Wicked Wolf! What? Oh, that's annoying.
Let's make a servo, because as a 3-3 three, three, I could still single block it, or as a 2-2 two, two, and 1-1 one, one, I can still double block the uh, wolf. It's a clue, not a food, so we'll go ahead and offer trade. Downside is now I can't cast the monitor or the enforcer next turn, but I think that's alright. Alright, hover wings will be a decent... Disenchant targets, but they are going to hit me for four in the air now. Three, four, five, six. I go to 12. Okay. I get to sack the clue. I mean, depending on what the next couple of cards they draw are, we're actually not doing too bad. Oh, that Thraben was another fantastic draw, actually. Sheesh. And I can now disenchant the Arrest if we need to as well. We're going to have to disenchant the Hover Wings. But if they just draw, like, a brick and a random creature, I think we can stabilize here. Uh, I actually think I'd like the free food if they're going to offer. I'll go to two here, eat two creatures. They get to pump up their Ornithopter into a one power. If this is land go, I think we've done it. Nice. Oh, Panharmonicon. Creature or... Artifacts, so sadly we don't have anything to do with that right now. So let's go Enforcer. Pass. Hope that they just attack with the Ornithopter this turn. And that I get to, uh... Wow, that's brutal. Okay. Well, still I get to kill the, uh... The equipment and then eat their ornithopter with the mirror enforcer. Oh wait, I have to chump, that's right. What am I talking about? The ornithopter already had flying. <laughs> JK. So I have to arrest the ornithopter, dang it, which means I don't get to panharmonicon into the uh, glint sleeve. Oh, dang it. Did I mess up? No, I don't think I messed up. I think we just got wrecked by the ridge scale, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, not the end of the world. Just very close. Really need them to draw a brick. That's a problem in two turns. They don't have a great attack this turn. Like this, I think, is good for us. Yeah, this would be a really good attack for us. 4-4 four, four goes on 3-3, three, 2-2 three, two, two, and 1-2 goes on 2-3, and then we chump this Tusker. Oh man, like Whirler Virtuoso off the top would be nuts. Do it. Don't think twice. Do it. Smork. Nice. They did it. Perfect. Okay. That was good for us. That was really good. No, I shouldn't attack yet. I don't want to be forced to chump. Because we have a good double block. Obviously, the island was not what we were looking for. Alright, they give something plus two, plus two. Okay. 
kind of have to triple block if they attack with it. Or rather quad block even. I think this is the best way to do it. Wow, good beats. Okay. So I'm take one trample. We still have outs. Oh man. Ten lands. That's too bad. Teething Wormlet. Hey, okay, the rogue off the top. That's four one ones. That buys a ton of time. I'm not sure what we need to draw, but that is insane too, isn't it? Yeah. That's a double trigger. One hand, one graveyard. Uh, hmm. I guess we take their chromatic star to dig deeper. Companion makes two maps, but I think we just want to take the enforcer here. We have 12 cards left after sacrificing the star. It's another two blockers. Three blockers, even. <laughs> Alright, well, we went from one creature to eight creatures. Also, we gained six life, but that actually isn't super relevant when they have uh, when they have now a nine nine. Okay, let's see here. The Whirler Rogue unblockable. We need to clock them, so I think this is the right play. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage from the Wormlet, that's not too problematic. Mm, life Linker. Nice, that's really good. That looks for two artifacts in the top eight cards, basically. Oh, Chrome Prowler is sick here. Oh, and there's the Mech Core Titan! Oh god! Oh my gosh, they conceded! <laughs> What a game, ladies and gentlemen. Our deck is so good, and Panharmonicon was insane there. Hmm, feels good, man. Alright, 5 0. 5 0 and feeling alive. Okay, this hand needs to find one land, but if we do, it's quite good. Get two draw steps at it. We're probably gonna go lead with Urza into like discarding Power Stone, hoping to, hoping to get an early Panharmonicon here. Okay, next turn I need the land, please. Please, please, please. Oh, 
Washi. Ah, dang it. And that might screw us. Gonna take four damage here. Ah, brutal. Turn late, dollar short, huh? I think I got a lead on Urza still. Instead of with the Artisan or whatever. I mean, what can you do? This. Uh, it's bad, 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 bad. All of it's bad. Do I have to play the Lodestone now just as a creature that can trade? I guess so. Going for the Chrome Prowler there is not terrible as well, but... Yeah, that one miss land, and that's going to cost us. Yeah, Immobilizer. Tap down. I'm going to take seven, go to two. Ugh, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. I can't beat anything, so it doesn't matter if they have it. We actually tap down the Companion, because I'd rather trade with the Song Shaper, and again, the Urza just bounces off of the uh, Unctus. Okay. I see. So Archeo Man. Archaeomander back there to drop and replay it. So they have four lethal creatures. Need to get the Power Stone. Oh, none of those are artifacts. So we just take a second artisan. I'm not technically dead on board, but <sighs> gonna be pretty hard to win this one. Man, it's crazy how far ahead we feel if I had hit that third land. Right. That's not too bad to start, actually. I mean, they haven't drawn any removal besides the immobilizer, so. Well, they're going for it. So trade, bounce, chump, chump. They discarded the Eye of Melkator. Another Song Shaper. Oh, let's see. Actually, the Mechcore Titan is very good versus their Immobilizer. It makes them tapping really weak. Oh, 
Oh, wait, am I dead on board? I guess they can tap this. Oh, that works too. Tap the servo. Oh! Oh, I thought they didn't give it haste for a second, but yeah. That'll do her. Ah, I take exaxes. Damn. Man, that was... That was so winnable if we just hit that third land. I think we crush them if we hit that third land, because then I have the opportunity to get the Panharmonicon online, and then we just bury them. All right, good beats. Five and one. We'll simply just win the next two. Looks pretty good. I think I like going bridge turn one and then inspector with bridge turn two as well. Yeah, it seems right to me. Couple of options for turn three. They care if they counter that. Stern lesson. Discarding a land. Remember, the artifact lands are indestructible, so you can't disenchant them for the field bads. As much as I would like to do that. Yeah, we'll just keep going wide here. There are a couple of Wrath type effects, so... Gotta be a little bit scared, I guess. Oh, Nettle Cyst! That's an amazing one. Good thing we have the Disenchant for that. Okay. I'm gonna lead on disenchant so we can pay the three. D fabricate, sure. We'll use the map probably next turn, but for now, pretty happy with uh, where we are. <laughs> that nettle cyst might have been basically their entire game plan. Uh, they should use, be using the power stones for that. Yeah, there they go. Cloud Guardy, okay. We're gonna keep the Chromatic Star on the map now since the War of the Rogues is too good. Hit him for four unblockable. I guess I could have mapped there and instead used the uh, servo to give unblockable. Chief of the Foundry is real nice. Sheesh.
Hey, the Mech Titan. All right, I mean... We can go for it if we want to. If assuming we hit a land here. I think I'm going to. They only have one card in their hand. Can you beat it? I don't know of any or many instant speed bounce effects or whatever. Boom! 10 10 flying vigilance trample lifelink haste. The mech titan strikes again. Love it. Ah, yes, this deck feels great. Can we pull off the 7? Not the 7 0, but a 7 would be good. How are we looking? On the play, hand looks good. Needs to find a second blue source by turn 4, but. Feeling. Peace. Turn 1, Scourgey. There's the second blue. Awesome. Okay, red black aggro then. Yep. A land pass here. I think I am going to disenchant their vault since they're red black. I mean, I guarantee they will have other targets, but for now, I think killing that's totally reasonable. Good attack for one unblockable. I don't think that's right, though. Remember, they can sack their treasure to make the infiltrator a 3 2. Nice, Vengeful Rebel, with the trigger from the treasure. Okay, I am happy to trade here. Or that gets too much bigger. And the bone splits. Let's go sack the Puzzle Knot and Archaeo Mender it back. I just say go. I'm okay trading both these tokens for one of their 3-2s if they want to attack with it. That's fine. Sure. So I'm going to equip the splitter to the Tomb Raider. I'm going to take 7 here. It's a lot of damage. Because we still want to block one of the three twos, and I don't want to block Vengeful Rebel in case they can bring it back. Alright, we're going to double block the Rebel. Again, that's a base 3-2 versus a base 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to leave the crab for at least a turn. Wah! Blood found to get everything back. We're going to map the crab. Because if it turns into a 1-4, it can actually block the pirate. I don't think Urza's good enough. I think Urza's too slow at this point. If 
they draw Annihilating Glare? Really? Kind of sucks if they did. Hopefully they're just sacrificing their blood token. Wow, are you kidding? Well, it is what it is. And I can't actually... Like, it's better to trade with Pirate here and go to one. And the reason is they can just Blood Fountain back their Tomb Raider and it would be hasty. So if they're going to Blood Fountain something back, at least it doesn't have haste anymore. Okay. I am not dead on board. They grab the Flyer and maybe Rebel. So we need to draw, I guess, Thought Monitor into stuff. I mean, what can you do? Look at their draw. Four lands, all spells. <laughs> and they ripped Scrounger? Sure. Alright, this can still draw Thought Monitor. Which would cost five, and then I could rip something else off of it. Nope, that doesn't do her. Uh, well, good beats. Sometimes you just get crushed. They drew four spell, four lands, all spells. We had twice as many lands as they did. That's magic, baby. Come on, one more for trophy still. Trophy, 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 please. That hand is pretty good. I don't think we're going to play out the star on turn one since we have Smith. But really, we want to just draw an artifact land with Smith. Great, that'll do. I might have to waste some triggers, but I think that's fine. Alright, I'll take three this turn. They should attack with the Justice here. Good attack. Oh, baby. All right. Oh, we're not chump, or rather, we're not trading with the mandible if they play another artifact. So I might be taking another four here. Actually, with my hand, it might be better just to chump the mandible to gain some life. Yeah, chump it and gain four makes sense. Especially since we have so much value in our hand. Let's see. Let's make the Smith a 4-4. Four, four. I guess we're going to Glint Sleeve and get two more 1-1s. One -ones. Is fine. Lodestone. Let's get two map tokens here. I guess I should put one on the companion if we can. Let's 
You know, that was kind of like a mole drifter. That was five mana, two one plus draw two cards. <laughs> Oh, they're going to start smacking me with Blink Moth. Yeah. Yeah, the flying is a little annoying here. All right, 13. I might want to just Citizens Arrest their Oak and Siren. It's giving them mana, but it's also just constantly poking us. Blech. Wow, they didn't have a land? Jeez. Actually, if I get rid of their Mirror Enforcer, I can start attacking on the ground. And hopefully the Lodestone Golem taxes them a bit here. Alright, I mean, that was a big swing. Huh? Six cards in their hand. Freaking six cards. <laughs> the owl, that's nice. Huh, I think I would have attacked with the mandible there if I were them. Oh, they can play another siren off of the first one too. Nice. Wow, they could have they could have gained a lot of life that turn. Whoa, the mech titan. Okay. I mean, I guess we just do it. At the very least, I'm going to gain 10 life this turn. <laughs> I'm glad we first picked the Titan, because we've actually gotten to uh, activate its ability multiple times. Wow, that is a steal of a deal. Sweet. Love it. No surprise here if they have a way to get rid of the Titan, but even if they do, I get Lodestone and Cartographers back. Cartographers is going to double trigger. Like, that's fine. That's why it was so good to do it while they were tapped out. We lost very little of value there, and we got a lot more value out of the deal. we find our Whirler Rogue one more time for the cherry on top? <laughs> 
What's it going to be for and? I still need to get another artifact in the graveyard because, again, Archaeomander can bring back two things. Map Siren. Oh, Waylaying Pirates will be a good draw for them. Nice. So we want to try to get one counter on the companion so it can attack through. Oh, you know what? I should have left that on top to make the Artisan a 3-3. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Whoopsies. I would have been able to attack with all my creatures this turn. Mm, that was a mistake. Good news is, now we get to our KO Mender back. The goods, Lodestone, and maybe just the Chromatic Star. Yeah, I guess the Cartographer's Companion is still a lot of value. <laughs> Gonna have made six maps off of it, it's kind of funny. So the Pirates is going to cost them 5, which means they are not left with much mana after the fact. Okay, they do have 3 blockers because they can animate the Nexus. Two more maps. One on the Arkeo. Oh yeah, and that's gonna be a nutty draw. Not blocking the lodestone, so what do they have? Disenchant? No, they can't cast disenchant. Oh, okay. Well, I guess they just decided to die. We'll take it! Now, our deck was sweet. Glad we got to the 7 win mark with this one, because I think what it was doing was really cool and really fun. Like Panharmonicon. <laughs> Mech Titan. Just really super cool things you can do. All right, that'll be the last of these for a little bit as uh, tomorrow we are going to have Thunder Junction. So stay tuned for that. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.